Good evening or good afternoon wherever you are joining us. Hallelujah. Let Lord Jesus shine forth. So tonight we do have on the Skype, as you can see, Adil, and we will be discussing um, date of Jesus, which we uh, which we talked a um, couple of weeks ago. Pick up where we left and then have discussion on that. But before I start, can I just get quick confirmation from the chat that sound and vision, okay, from my side, and then I will just say hi to Adil, and then uh, we will do sound check for him, and then take it from there. Um, sir, um, good evening. Good evening, hi. Um, how are you doing? Uh, fine, how are you doing, Atun? By God's grace, I'm good, thank you. Um, do you mind just take a moment and introduce yourself to... Um, those uh, those of us who uh, those of people who are joining us through YouTube. Yes, uh, hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adil Salaman. I am a Muslim, and I'm talking with uh, Hatun regarding questions about Christianity, and and she has questions about Islam. And can I just get quick um, confirmation for the sound for the both sides are okay, and then we will. Yes, sound is good. Thank you very much, Fred. Peace of Christ be with you, brother. So, uh, the overall plan for to, um, this evening is we just pick up where we left um, in our last meeting. And from there, what we will do, we will go approximate three rounds of five minutes. I will be the one who keeps the timing in this side. And then all after that, we'll see if there is uh, maybe one more need to do um, one more round or not. After that, we will take your questions on the topic which we are discussing. So topic is deity of Jesus. I think in our next meeting, we will be discussing Tawhid. Um, so with that on mind, can I just gently encourage those of you who are joining us in chat, please, please keep your comments um, in the topic which we are discussing as well as uh, please use the language of English in your comments and do not share anyone's personal information. We are intentional that we do not block you, but please don't kind of fight that you want to be blocked. That's just not helping for anyone. Okay, I think we can start. Um, let me just start with the timing, sir. I'll keep the timing from this side. And then I'll... Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Hatun, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't uh, see the chat site. I, I'm trying to look at DCCI Ministries. I'm there. What but, do I do now? So did you find uh, uh, tonight's video over there? I, I typed tonight's video, I say, huh? No, uh, right? so on DCCI, there should, okay. be, there should be kind of something says DCCI is live. Like you should see the live video, which is titled as Live Debate. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, let me... Go just one last time. Okay, go. you go ahead. I, I'm going to search for it. Okay. Okay. So once you find it, like if you click it and then make sure you are muted, then it will help you to kind of move forward. Yeah, please. You, you go ahead. I don't yeah. want to delay you. Please. Yeah, so I'll, I'll keep time of five minutes. Okay, please. Go ahead. So... Um, I think last um, last time when we discussed, uh, when we had a discussion, we did talk about um, deity of Jesus and you did bring up a um, couple of questions. So um, I'll just pick up where I think I left last week. Um, last time I made a case from the Christian scripture that according to Christian scripture, Jesus is identified Yahweh. Uh, uh, and also, according to Christian scripture, Jesus is also identified as the Son of God. Jesus is God because he describes, uh, Jesus is God because according to Christian scripture, Jesus has the same nature and same essence which we would expect God to have. Jesus shared the same nature and same essence with the God the Father and God the Spirit. Jesus is also identified son of God because that is his personal identity. Uh, he shares unique character. No one else shares. Um, he's son of God. Um, that means he's not the father. That means he's not the spirit. 
he is son that's his relationship to father he is the son of the father and then from that i think and you did exp i did ask you question on uh who can give eternal life and you express that it is only god who gives eternal life i brought up a um, couple of chap couple of verses for you where jesus makes a claim that jesus gives eternal life so uh, I would expect today um, for you to respond to me if, according to Christian scripture, Jesus is making a claim that he gives eternal life. Doesn't that make Jesus God, according to your criteria and according to my criteria? Also, I did bring a passage, John chapter 5, where Jesus uh, identified as the son of God. That is, you, uh, with that people understood, Jesus is claiming that he, is, uh, he shares the same nature with God. Um, and when Jesus said Jesus is the son of God, people took that as Jesus is blaspheming. He is claiming to be God. Um, I would love to get your response to that, your response to that as well from last time we picked up. And then also I kind of brought up a um, couple of uh, explanations why Christian scripture is forcing me to believe Jesus is the son of God um, and Jesus is God. I did brought up Jesus is asking people to honor him exactly the way people would honor God the Father. Jesus uh, have the same um attributes of God all-knowing all-powerful all-present eternal therefore he does the deeds of God he can do what God does giving eternal life walking on the water um, doing um, lots of other miracles and then also I did brought up that Jesus does share the names of God uh, and he come from the seat of God and he's gone to uh, he's seated on the throne today. Alongside of that, I also um, brought up Quranic verses where, according to Islam, Jesus is also identified as the creator. And then I did express that Jesus creates much faster than Allah. And creating is attributes only belong to Allah. How come Jesus shares the same attributes with Allah? I would love to get kind of respond to response to these basic questions. Let me just summarize once again. Once again, um, Christian scripture teaches uh, there is one God in being, in essence, in nature. Yet this God is identified as three persons: Father, Son, and Spirit. Son is not the Father. Father is not the Son. Father is the one who sends the Son. And according to Christian scripture, there is no beginning and the end for the Son. Before the foundation of the world, God the Father was loving God the Son in the fellowship of Holy Spirit. Um, that's overall what Christian scripture teaches. I would, um, I would love to hear what is your rebuttals to that. And my time is up. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. You gave me a lot to, to write down. Yeah, let me now. Okay. Here we go. So, okay. Do we start? I'm starting now, huh? Yeah. There we go. Okay. You mentioned here, Sister Atu, that, um, uh, that identified as Son of God. Uh, and with regards to this, as you are well aware, there are numerous uh, citations in, in, in the Bible, in the Old and the New Testament where there are sons of God throughout. And sons of God, uh, through, through my humble research, means a person who is pious, who is normally uh, obedient, uh, close to God, because there are sons throughout the Bible. So this is not a strong justification to attribute that Jesus is a deity. That's number one. Now, uh, you mentioned same essence, same nature. Now, when we say essence and nature, of God, that is, you, you see, um, having, uh, especially in Christianity, th th that stands out among 
what I believe the other Abrahamic religions is that they have the Trinity. They have the Trinity. This is what distinguishes Christianity uh, among the Judaism and Islam. However, when you say essence and nature, it is it is a vague terminology. It is not something you know you can grasp your hand around it. It's nothing essence and nature. It is very um, you know objective. It's not very specific. You cannot you, you cannot ascertain what is an essence, what is a, what is a nature. It's it, it's it's very fluid. So there, it's difficult to quantify and qualify because you have pious people throughout, uh, you know, and uh, they are mentioned throughout the Bible, sons of God and people who are close to God. Now you mention who can give eternal life, uh, John and stuff. I believe there are other prophets who gave life back to the dead. Now, when you say eternal life, I, I believe you're, you're referencing the hereafter. I think that's what you mean eternal life. You don't mean uh, uh, the, the present life, because if you mean the life now, there are other prophets who have all, also performed such miracles with, with the permission of God Almighty. Uh, you go down also, you say that scriptures uh, mention, you were talking fast, I couldn't catch up, but anyway, you said Christian scriptures uh, something about son of God. Uh, I can't get. Okay, Th then it says, uh, okay, you said honor God the Father. You mentioned honor God the Father. Uh, honor the Son of God like you honor God the Father. I think that's what you said, if I caught it right. Uh, now, now uh, all we believe all prophets of God are a representative of God. Now, if I were to take it to one extreme, it's like the king or the queen of, of England. If she has an emissary or ambassador, you would uh, honor that emissary or that ambassador because she represents or that uh, he represents the Queen of England. Same thing for any other uh, nation. Now, that messenger is representing the Almighty. So you would honor him as you would honor him because he is a direct messenger. That's what we believe. But I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Now, same attributes as God. Now, when you say same attributes, here I would have to disagree. When you say same attributes, there are verses, I, I, I don't have time to look because I don't have to, uh, enough time here, but there are verses here in, uh, that I came across that says Jesus does not know, only the Father in heaven knows. I, I don't know, I cannot quote exactly which verse, and it mentions it. And, uh, you know, when other, another person comes, and also another verse comes, but I can quote them if, if I am given time, but it's scattered throughout the Bible here. So when you say the same attributes, uh, God is omnipotent, omnipresent, he's everywhere, and omniscient. So uh, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, uh, he doesn't have those attributes. So uh, for me, I have one minute left. 39, uh, sorry, 47 seconds. I'm sorry, for, I'll give you 40 seconds, no problem. Now you say seated on the throne. When he's seated on the throne, uh, you know, that means he's beside God. He's not God. He's beside, he's sitting beside God on the right, the left, up or down. But still, it seems that he is an assistant uh, support. Now, according to Islam, is the creator. Now, I don't have time for that. I'll get to it next time. But now I don't have time to ask you questions. You bombard me with a lot of questions, but maybe next time, please. Did I, did I get the time? Is it done? You've got 14 more seconds. I don't think I can answer this in this time. Okay. Uh, yeah, please, go ahead. Your time is up? Okay. Okay, time is up. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure why uh, I am hearing that you are not prepared, uh, because this is, I'm just following up what I did bring up last time, which you didn't answer, that sure I would expect this to be something very simple. Um, so you you talked about um, God has um, there are num numerous way God has like tons tons of sons. I did bring up to you John chapter five, the way like Israelites identified as the first. Um, Israelites identified as the son of God. I am identified as the son of God through blood of Lord Jesus Christ. But in John chapter 5, which I read it last time, I am happy to read it again. It says, because he's calling God his father, making himself equal with God. 
That's what I mean. That's what Jesus means. John chapter 5, you read it from verse 16. I am happy to read, remind you if you've forgotten from last time. And fo my focus verse is verse 18. After that, Jesus talks about how in essence, Jesus is the son of God. He is the one who gives, uh, who, he is the one who judges. He is the one who's, uh, whose voice we need to obey. He is the one who gives life. Um, and he's the one who needs to be honored. And people claiming, Jewish people who knew the scripture, they are claiming that Jesus is claiming in essence he is equal with God. I am a bit confused that you are struggling to understand difference between uh, what is essence means or what is nature means. Um, I'll give you a very basic example. You are human. And your daughters are human beings. I am human. Uh, like if uh, you, you are human beings, your daughters are not rats or animals. They are human beings. They are in the same essence with you. So today we've got approximate 7 billion other, other human beings in this earth. We are all human beings. In essence, we are same. Jesus is saying he is sharing the same essence with God the Father and God the Spirit. He's sharing the same divine essence. That should be kind of not very complicated. Um, when it talks about the eternal life, it's not simply talking about, oh, eternal life, the prophet gives. I would love to know. I would love to know which other prophets give eternal life. I would love to know that. Um, because Jesus himself is claiming he will give eternal life and not any eternal life, but eternal life, which is perfect, well quali qualified that I gave you the references from last time. I am happy to remind them to you. Honoring queen is the same honoring God or honoring the um, prince or ambassadors is the same honoring the queen. No. In, when I say we honor, God, honor Jesus the way we honor God the Father, because Jesus tells us to do so. How do you honor God as a Muslim? You worship. You pray to him. You call upon his name. That's what we do to Jesus. We worship him. We call upon his name. It's not only we worship him. Even the angels in heaven worship him. That's what we call honoring him. I would love to know, actually, you said you, are, you, um, you don't have the reference. Uh, you said Jesus is lacking the attributes of um, all-knowing. I love to know where it says and what is the context of that chapter or verse. Um, I did express that Jesus is um, seated on the throne. The throne only God can sit. Why God is hanging around and giving Jesus to sit in his throne if Jesus is doesn't have the authority to judge if Jesus is not God I would love you to explain those things to me and uh, let me remind my questions I I would love you to please debunk the Quranic teaching on Jesus is the one who creates who gives life and who is all knowing that surat um Surah 349, Surah 5, verse 110. Therefore, according to Christian scripture, there is no any other way I can come to the conclusion beside expressing and worshipping King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Son of God, Lord Jesus Christ. And my time is up. Okay, good. good. Okay. Let me just finish my final notes here. Okay. Now, uh, let me start. You said, um, should I go to the Quran? You mentioned that a few times. If you want, I can go to that first. You mentioned the Quran, um, uh, chapter 5, uh, I believe. Uh, well, Surah 3, verse 49, if I remember correctly. And in it, you're saying that uh, Jesus is, uh, and we, we claim, or you claim that we say, Jesus is greater than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I disagree with you, but let me see here. Uh, okay. Anyway, let me come here. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let me see. Uh, 
I, before I go to there, you say he prayed to God Almighty. You know, uh, it says John chapter 5, verse 16, and that is here. I have it. Uh, okay, let me see. Just, just give me a second, please. Uh, and these it's electronic things are a little bit slow. Okay, chapter 3. Let me go to chapter 3 first. Okay, uh, chapter 3, verse 49. Okay, I'm in verse 49. This is Al Imran, verse 49. You say that Jesus is greater than God. Or the Bilam Sarah, you were sooner in Lebanese Israel and you could to be Ayatim Rabbi and Yahukum Latin, Kahil Tayri, and for Fi Fukunotain of Israel. Okay, now, in here, it, it, very briefly, it's saying that these are the miracles bestowed on Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, by God Almighty. It says that he creates birds uh, by blowing on clay and he does other miracles. And we do not have any problem with that by the permission of God Almighty. Moses, he, he split the, 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 the Nile and he had a, a rod and it turned into a snake by per permission of God Almighty. And other prophets, mighty prophets of God Almighty, David and Solomon, they did miraculous things by the permission of God Almighty. So uh, this is nothing uh, unique to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Now that's with regards to the Quran. I won't go to the other chapter, I don't have time. Now with regards to saying, that um, the essence and the nature, essence and nature. Uh, I'm not that proficient in the Bible, but I don't see anywhere when it says that the essence and the nature of Jesus Christ is equivalent, co-equal to the essence and, and nature of God Almighty and the Holy Spirit. I don't see it anywhere. I see it mentioned that he is a son of man and son of God. And son of man and son of God can be interpreted in many different ways. Now, uh, and that's why we and the Jews, we have Abba and Rabba. Abba is father. Rabb is more difficult to pronounce. It means Lord or God, Rabb. And now that has been disbanded with in the New Testament, the latest testament, which is the Quran. We don't use father anymore because of all the misinterpretations done by our Jewish brothers and our Christian brothers. They, they literally took it father and they went to extreme in taking that on board and considering that he is a son and that is the father. No, it is father that is not anymore being used. In our, uh, the last testament, the Quran is Rabb. Ab is nowhere in, in, in the Quran for, uh, for uh, depicting God Almighty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not anymore. It was in the uh, Jewish scriptures, but now it's not anymore. Uh, you mentioned here, whom does he say that Jesus Christ uh, shall, uh, 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 okay. Uh, God and the Holy. Uh, now, now you, you mentioned also that um, you know, uh, p uh, you know, he used to pray. And now, for us, we see Jesus Christ as a, you know, a powerful prophet, a messenger, a pious person, and he, he's been sent as an example, as a, a, a mentor, as a, as a, a, a testament, as as a master to be followed. Uh, as, an, uh, as a pious example to be followed, when he prayed, he used to pray to God Almighty. He didn't ask people to pray to me. He, he used to pray and bow and prostrate to God Almighty. So as an example of a pious person, you say, I am a mentor also. I have young engineers. They, they follow my lead. I, I, on a much larger scale, I would imagine prophets are pious people. They've been sent as an example for us simple humans to follow their example, which is when he used to pray, he used to uh, cry and weep and prostrate and beg God Almighty for fulfillment of his, whatever desires he had, raising Lazarus or uh, saving him from the crucifixion or doing many things. He used to pray and, and, and in our Quran it says that also. He, he, when he prayed to God Almighty, he, he was praying. Your, and time, he was, your uh, time is up, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay, this is last round of um, third. Okay. Now it's now it's my turn or your turn now. No, so you just finished your turn. I'm gonna do the my third of five minutes. Third of five minutes. Okay. Okay, and then you've got five minutes after me. Okay, please. Um, so I am very much disappointed that you simply butchered Quran itself. Argument was according to Islam, Allah is the Creator. Yet Jesus 
creates exactly the same way Allah creates. Surah 15, Allah creates Adam from the clay and then Allah breathes into Adam, his spirit, and then Adam becomes alive. When you read the Tafsir, Taf um, Tafsir talks about, oh, Allah finished me before it, is, before it turns to night. Versus, so that's attributes of creating, sifats of, sifats of Allah, okay? Versus, Jesus, in Surah 3, verse 49, and Surah 5, Jesus takes the, takes the clay, makes the shape of the bird, and then breathe into this bird the breath he has, and then gives life. Much, much faster than Allah, because bird doesn't turn to Jesus and then say, oh, finish me before it's too late. Bird just becomes alive, which was from the clay. Exactly the way Allah does, only difference is he does much faster than Allah. Um, you talked about, yeah, prophets did miracle. Can you give me any prophet in Islam created exactly the way Allah created? Or Jesus created from the clay, breathe into the um, object, bring in, breathe into the, that uh, mud shaped of thing and then that thing become alive that's only jesus and allah according to islamic tradition i am very much disappointed that you express that um now um even though jewish people called uh, god father uh you took that out of the quran um yes i do agree that um you took that out of the quran it is disappointing in a sense Quran comes to confirm the previous revelation. Yet, highest position Quran offers to humans, offers to Muslims as being slave of Allah. That's all you can get. Versus, because of the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, because of the blood of the Son of God, I am called sons of God. I am adopted into his family. Therefore, I can call God my father, my father. Um, you did. Uh, you brought up the um, objections on um, Jesus praise to God. As a Christian, I don't have any problem with that because I already expressed to you, Christian scripture teaches that Jesus, um, Christian scripture teaches that God is triune God. There are three persons in Godhead, in one being, Father, Son, and Spirit. I will not expect eternal word of God, eternal son of God to step into this broken world and live like a Buddhist, live like an atheist. Of course, Jesus is identified as truly God, truly man, God man. Therefore, he's going to communicate with his father. He's not independent, rebellion, teenage. There is no problem with that according to Christian scripture. But if, because Jesus prays to God the Father, if that makes Jesus not God, please do tell me, why Allah does pray three times in the Quran? One of the example is Surah 33, verse 56. Who does Allah pray to? Allah cannot be God according to your own criteria. I am still waiting answer to the my basic questions um, on Jesus gives eternal life, which you expressed only God gives. What does make that Jesus? I am waiting answer to the question, who else in Islam creates exactly the same way um, like Allah and even faster than Allah? Um I'm waiting on, I'm waiting to claim you made that there are the things Jesus doesn't know. I love to get the context and where does it say because I am noticing that you just hear those things but you don't know like context or the references. Um, and um, I gave you the John chapter 5 where Jesus is identified as the son of God who is equal with God in essence. John chapter 5 Please read it from verse 16 to 30. That will be helpful. My time is up. Um, whenever you are ready, sir, please. Okay. Read Just give me, give me a second, please. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, I'll get that later. There's no time for this. But anyway, okay. Uh, let me start with what you mentioned here. Now, um, you said that it, it is, yeah, with all due respect, uh, Sister Hatun, it is not a race. When God Almighty wants to create, we believe in Islam, that God, he says to anything, any creation, be and it is. Now, when you mentioned more than once that uh, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he created faster than God. It is not a Formula One race. It is not a speed race. It is not something, okay, uh, you know, God, I'm going to beat you. That means I'm better than you. I'm equal to you. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that. We believe God by his, his all grace and all, all mercy and all compassion. He bestowed on our beloved Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, this miracle because he had to deal with the very, and it is mentioned, the, 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 we mentioned in our book, I think it's mentioned in the Old Testament, that the Jews were of very hard hearts. The, their hearts were of stone, even worse than stone. That's what it mentioned in our Quran. That's why when Moses, peace be upon him, he took the Exodus, he took the Jews from Pharaoh. He just took them off uh, uh, from Egypt. By the time he went to speak to God Almighty and he left uh, Aaron, they worshipped the calf. You know, he just left them, and, and this is the appreciation he gets. So anyway, I'm digressing. Let me come back. But what I'm trying to come to, again, that Jesus Christ, he did, he was given the ability to blow into a clay and uh, have a, a clay bird turn to real. The reason is God Almighty bestowed this on him, and the reason, if it is what you call it, a race or not, but it, to me it's not a race, but anyway, because he had people waiting for him on the sidelines, these Jews, these hard-hearted Jews, challenging him constantly. You are not the true Messiah. You are a false prophet. You are not the true Jesus Christ. You are not the Messiah. So every time he had to bring another miracle, another miracle, to prove to them, to their hard heart, because they are very demanding. They, they, they always ask for something more. They always ask for something more out of Jesus Christ. Show us this. Prove us this. We don't trust you. Prove to us, tell us you are, and he tells them, and he repeats to them, but he being a very pious, sincere person, they being hard-hearted, prove to me, I'm not being anti-Semitic. Again, I am Semitic. I'm not being anti-Semitic. We are from the same tribe. But to prove to you that Jews are hard-hearted, how many prophets did the Jews have? From, you can count from, uh, from not Abraham, Abraham is our prophet also, from Isaac time all the way to Jesus. They had hundreds, if not thousands of prophets. It doesn't mean that they are the chosen people of God. It means that they have a chronic illness, chronic disease, which is they try to divert from the way of God and God has to send another messenger to bring them back to the straight path. And they divert again. And they have to bring another messenger to bring them back. Like when he just disappeared for 40 days, Moses, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. And they went and they, they worshiped the calf. I mean, just, that just tells you an indication how much hard-hearted or, I don't want to be generalized, but they had issues. So God had to repetitively send uh, prophets. And that's why Jesus Christ was given uh, permission to blow. And that's, uh, again, the, the speed, because they are stand, standing on the sidelines. Show us what you can do. So he blows on it. It doesn't, he, they, can, they will not wait till midnight till it comes to life. God does what he wants, when he wants, and how he wants. There is no restriction. There is no time like you're timing me now. There is no time on that. Uh, how he does it and how he, he, he performs it. At the end of the day, I sincerely believe Jesus to be a sincere, trustworthy, honest, loving, pious prophet, messenger of God Almighty. He was, he was given the almost impossible task to deal with these treacherous people that always had it out for him. They tried many times to claim he was a false messiah many times. They, they, they encountered him many times, tried to stone him, and he had to deal with it. He only, by the time he, he died, only 11 disciples he had. The rest, uh, there was nobody around him, poor guy. But anyway, regardless. Now back to your question here, this was a long one. Uh, you said, by the blood, of, of son of, the, of God you mentioned. Now for us, we don't precondition the mercy of God. You don't need the blood or the water or the flesh of anyone to precondition the, the, the magnificent, immense, gracious, and, and merciful. We call him al-Rahman al-Rahim. All merciful, all uh, 
gracious God. There is no restriction on God. You, you cannot contain the, the Almighty. He does what He wants, how He wants, when He wants. You say that by the blood of Christ. Why do you condition your time mercy? Is, oh, sir, your time is up. I'm sorry, you had a lot of things here. I could not get to half of them. But anyway, I'm sorry. Um, that's fine. So, um, would you be okay to go two more rounds, sir? But I will... But, 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 but this time, please let me start first. No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. overwhelming. No, sir, just, sir, just a moment. Would you like to go two more rounds? Five minutes, five minutes. I am asking this because the, uh, the references I give it to you, I don't know if it was intentional or you simply didn't have time. You intentionally ignore them and you didn't kind of engage anything I brought it up. Therefore, I am proposing, would you like to have two more rounds in the intention, engaging with the references I have given to you and the rebuttals I proposed you? Okay, first of all, uh, I speak sincerely. We are Muslims, we don't lie. Nothing was intentional. It was not intentional. There was no time. I can show you how much I wrote. I wrote three pages of your questions and I couldn't get to half of them, okay? Now, uh, back to your question. I don't believe five minutes is sufficient. Let's make it 10 minutes, 10 minutes, because by that time, at least I could get to, through half of your questions. You have you have a, a wealth of, of things you dumped on no, me. It's, it's not I'm like dumping anything on you. It is, I'm simply responding to objections. You brought up uh, identifying Jesus is not God. Um, I then denying the identity of Jesus. Therefore, I'm just responding. I'm not bringing any question. I'm just responding to objections you had for my faith. So if that's okay in that case, we have last 10 minutes. Okay. I will bring my, yeah. I will bring the arguments again. And then I would expect you to please engage with the references I have given to you. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Let, let me clarify something, sister. Yeah. So you, you want to have, 10 minutes for you and 10 minutes for me, or yeah. total is 10 minutes? No, you have 10 minutes, I have 10 minutes. So, both of us. Because you but, said 5 you know, minutes is not um, enough. No, no, it is enough, but please, uh, I believe you to be a sincere Christian. Please don't overwhelm me with a lot of things, because I am running through this running, and I can barely catch my breath. You are already very experienced. That's I'm a novice. I, I, I have to admit, I'm a novice in this. That's why uh, you need to join the coach to 5K. They help you no, to no, train no, for I, running. I will, definitely. At my age, I will try my best. But but not putting it above you. I know you're very knowledgeable. But please, you know, sh show your Christianity and be a little bit, you know, just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. Uh, don't overwhelm me. So okay? I, 10 minutes, do my best. So, okay, let me just uh, bring up something. I am Please. simply responding what you brought to me. I am not like kind of, I'm not intelligent or anyone. I'm simply a Christian who stands under the grace of Lord Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll go, I'll take my 10 minutes, okay? And then I will give you 10 minutes for you to respond what I'm going to bring it up. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sister. Uh, when do I ask my questions? I haven't asked anything yet. It's only one way now. I thought you already denied the deity of Jesus. That's already your question, is it not? I'm a, I am answering your I, questions in here. So I do agree, you be, agree. Okay, if you, you believe if you uh, believe Jesus right. is God, like you did, brought up a couple of references, um, such as you said. Um, let me find it. You said there are Jesus. Jesus prays, therefore he cannot be God. I already responded to that one. You brought up that. Um, what kind of eternal life Jesus gives? I already respond. You brought up the honor, honor the queen, honor the agencies. I already respond to your questions. So I'm just like giving you rebuttal. I, I haven't even brought up like proper argument. I'm just picking up where we left last time. Yeah, uh, yeah, th that's fair enough. But, but mashallah, tabarakallah, it's like almost one to ten. I, I, I throw in one, but it's okay. I, I have, no, I'm very flexible. We can start the ten minutes now. I have no problem. Okay. You want to start? Okay. okay. So, um, first of all, I'll pick up where you left, and then we will go from there. Um, I did, be, I did brought up the Quranic reference that Jesus shares the attributes of Allah, and He is much, much faster than that. Um, I'm not sure why you are comparing that with the race or anything, because it is clearly Allah couldn't make it. Jesus already won that race. But um, in the verse, in the verse. It does say, it, 
it does say, okay, let me come to the verse. I'm talking about Surah 3, verse 49. It does say that, uh, okay, I can't find the verse now. No, I have it in front of me. Okay, sorry, it's here. Uh, it does say, it does say Jesus did this with the permission of Allah. But yes. it doesn't say Jesus is given the ability. That's what you said. So Jesus already has the ability to give life. Allah gives permission. Jesus already walks around with the breath of life. Jesus already walks around in the attributes of creating. He has the power. He has the ability. Permission is given by Allah. There are two different things. Please don't mis misrepresent Islam. And I don't want to be the one who like kind of present Islam in, in here. You talked about be and that it is. Actually, Jesus is not created with the phrase be and that it is. Adam is not created in that way either. According to the Islamic tradition, it is not, not Islamic tradition. According to the Quran, it is the spirit of Allah breathed into Farj of Mary, breathed into Mary, and then Jesus came to be. I did actually brought up to you last week, last time, Surah 4, verse 171, where Jesus is identified as the spirit of God who cast into Mary's tummy as the word of God and become a man. Born as a man. Therefore, are you trying to tell me spirit of God has nothing to do with God? The word of God has nothing to do with God? It's not only Jesus creates faster than Allah. Jesus is also identified the spirit of Allah and the word of Allah. Therefore, he's already God according to Islam or he's much better than Allah according to Islam. I would love to hear the references from the Quran where Jews are challenging Jesus to do miracles. I love to hear that. I love to see that where it is in the Quran. In case I miss that, I would really appreciate that. Um, and also, can I just say a huge thank you for, as a Muslim, acknowledging that Jesus died. I, I really appreciate that, even though Islamic tradition disagrees with you, but you express that when Jesus died, he had only 11 disciples. So you already um, acknowledge that Jesus died. Um, I am sorry that Allah Allah doesn't have any moral standards that he just expresses his mercy, those kind of things to Muslims, not to his creatures, but to Muslims. But according to Christian scripture, I I don't even uh, I don't even deserve to live, deserve to live, but I am only can be declared righteous because of the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, because he sacrificed on the cross, which you already um, expressed that he died. Therefore, I am declared righteous. Yet, according to you, Allah can forgive and show mercy whoever he wishes. That's already expressed. Actually, Allah doesn't have any kind of standards. You can't even trust Allah. Abu Bakr didn't even trust Allah when what, what was going to happen to him. So that was your last rebuttal. Let me come back to the previous points I already made. You expressed that Jesus prays to God. I did express. I don't have any problem. I am not expecting eternal son of God to be rebellion teenage. Of course, eternal son of God is going to communicate with his father as the son of the father. Jesus does pray. And also he teaches us how to pray call God our Father. Um, in that, I did brought up, if your criteria that Jesus cannot be God because he prayed, please do tell me, why do you believe Allah is God? Because Allah does pray in Surah 33, verse 56, one of those references. I did, um, I love to kind of um, addition what I already told. I want you to explain to me, John chapter 5, verse 16 towards, where when Jesus claims to be the son of God, he is, um, his, uh, that claim is taken as he's claiming to be God. Can you please tell me how, when you read that passage, how do you read that passage? While 
your sinless, perfect Jesus speaking and he's claiming to be the eternal son of God. He is claiming to be the God. And the verse says, making himself equal with God. Not any other sons, but making himself equal with God. I would love you to explain it to me. What other prophets give eternal life the way Lord Jesus give it to you? Give, sorry, give not to you, to, um, to me in this occasion. That's in John chapter 10. I gave you the reference of 27 and 28 last time. Let me read that again. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. And they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. And then verse goes on where people are thinking Jesus is claiming he is Yahweh. He is God. In that, um, please do explain it to me. Uh, when I ex express that Jesus as the son of God, as God, he is worshipped. He is worshipped which goes under the honoring father the way we honor Honoring Jesus the way we would honor Father. We would worship Jesus. Uh, we, that means we are honoring Father. Jesus is being worshipped in heaven by heavenly beings. Revelation 4, 5 and also it's in the Peter account. I would love to get your response to that. Um, And um, yes, I still, um, please, in your um, rebuttal, give me the references where, and the context and the context where Jesus makes a claim that he's not all knowing. He doesn't know some things. I love to hear that. Um, also, um, let me read actually something for you um, from the book of Hebrews, which will actually respond to the question on uh, the, where Jesus expressed that he comes from the throne and he's seated on the throne I'm not sure if I do have enough I've got two minutes let me do that so this is Hebrews chapter 1 in the past God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times in various ways but in these days in last days he spoke to us by his son by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. Through the son, universe is made. The son is the radiance of God's glory and exact representative of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. Everything holds together in this universe. Because the power of the word of Lord Jesus Christ. I would love you to kind of just explain that to me actually. How that can be happen if Jesus is just a prophet. And uh, I'm just looking at my notes. You did express actually there is nothing unique in the uh, in Surah 3 verse 30, 49 where Jesus creates. I really really lo love to know who are the other prophets. You've got over 140, 124,000 prophets in Islam. Please give me the names of those prophets. They create with their breath. They give life with their breath. The breath they give, they create out of the clay. I love to get those references. I would be really appreciate to that. Um, yeah, um, uh, because of all those references, uh, let me express once again. As a Christian... I believe Jesus is Messiah and uh, Jesus is Messiah, the son of God. And by believing in him, I have eternal life. Not any eternal life, but eternal life with the perfect quality, eternal life where I can spend my eternity with God. He dwells among me. And my time is up. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Okay, so let me see here. Go. Okay, now that's my time. Okay, now you mentioned here that in, more than one time you mentioned, you said that um, uh, Jesus Christ, he, uh, you know, uh, blows on, on the clay and this show me another prophet. 
again, every prophet is sent to a certain people at a certain time for a certain purpose. And the Almighty God knows who to send, when to send, and with what abilities to send. Uh, John the Baptist, there is, a, there is a verse, but I cannot find it. It says, uh, Jesus Christ says, there is none amongst you who born a woman equal to him. He, you know, he is above everybody. And he did not do any miracle. So a miracle in itself is not an indication that this guy is um, divine or not divine. It does not. Because even Jesus Christ, I'm, I, I tried to look, but I couldn't find it. But he mentions that there are people that come after me who do miracles right and left and do other things. And I'll say they are not of me. But anyway, I'll try to find when you talk. But uh, back to this issue. I don't want to lose time. Now, uh, you mentioned that uh, the ability does not have uh, does not have that uh, misunderstood. I don't know what. The, but anyway, uh, so uh, here now, when you mentioned that uh, you thanked me, uh, and thank you for that, but it was a slip of the tongue. In Islam, we say, رُفْعَ الْأُمَّةِ الْخَطَأُ When the siyam is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, He uh, gives us permission when we have a mistake by Belkhata by a mistake or Nasyan forgetfulness. Uh, um, or something fortunate to him. When he said that you thanked me for admitting Jesus Christ died, no, that was a slip of the tongue. So I didn't admit anything, that was a slip of the tongue. But anyway, now you mentioned again that you are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. For us, this seems very in two two areas. People of the book do not go to extremes. This seems very extreme. You have a person who had nothing to do with anything. He is a pious, a sincere, uh, devout person. And you say, I want his blood. It's almost like a, one of these uh, vampire movies I see. I need his blood to be saved. So you're making my God seem to be very bloodthirsty, that you can precondition his mercy. He can only give his mercy or his everlasting mercy, as you properly mentioned or his forgiveness, until a pious, sincere, sinless man is claimed, allegedly, I'm saying allegedly, crucified. I don't admit he's crucified, allegedly crucified. Once he's allegedly crucified, as per uh, the Christians uh, and the Jews uh, claim, then you are given uh, permission for everlasting life. No, for us, we believe God is omnipotent. He can do what he wants, how he wants, where he wants. There is no precondition, no uh, waiver required, nothing uh, you put on God. You cannot, if once you put a condition on God, he's not God anymore. Once you say you cannot forgive till you get blood, he's not, he's not a God. He's not a God to be worshipped. And once God has a condition on him, that means he loses his divinity. That's by default. A God, an omnipotent, om omnipotent God, om omniscience, omnipresent. Once you say that words and then you come and condition it, you are already degrading the, the value of God Almighty. It, it is not our God. But anyway, and then you say Abu Bakr, you mentioned Abu Bakr, that's why I caught here. You say Abu Bakr does not trust Allah. I, uh, show me the hadith and I, I'll prove to you it is a hadith uh, da'if or hadith mudur. This is not from the Quran. This we have, just like uh, the, the Jews, you Christians, you fell into this, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to call it, but it's a big problem for you. You mixed your oral nar narratives with the, the, the Bible itself, the, the revelation. And you have it all, it's almost like a cocktail, you mix it together. The Jews are like us, they have the Torah, which is the revelation, and they have Talmud. We have the Quran, which is the preserved word of God and God Almighty. He, he swore that it will be preserved and we believe it's preserved. And then we have the hadith, which is Talmud, compared to Talmud of the Jews. And they are totally separate. The hadith can have, and like Bukhari, he uh, had collected more than 300,000 or 400,000. Out of those, who he only he only attested to 3,000 or 2,500. The rest he rejected as da'if, which is weak, or mawdu, and is in place, or munkar. There are what we call isnad, which is chain of hadith. Unlike what you have, you don't have a chain. Here comes somebody 50 years after Jesus. I was reading this book and most of the, the, the authors of the Gospels are unknown. There are not, except for the, the, some of the books of Paul. The others, according to John or Paul, um, Mark, they're not there, it's not. The authors are not known. So anyway, that is another story for another time. Now, uh, you mentioned that Jesus prays uh, uh, Jesus Christ prays. Yeah, 
You said that Jesus can't pray. No, he didn't only pray. He pleaded and begged and cried and wept. He was, they say, uh, like drops of blood. He was pleading and weeping. He, he was begging, actually, God Almighty. It's not like, you know, uh, my, my other person of the triune God. I need you, your, no, he was prostrating and pleading. And then he, after he gets, he thanks God. So it's not just like a, a push of a button. Okay, God, give me this. And he gave me that. No, he was pleading. And to me, I agree with you. That is an example set by Jesus Christ for us to follow. When we ask, we only ask God. When we plead, we only plead to God. When we beg, we only beg to God. If you claim that there are three persons in, in, in one God, so what difference does it make? It's, it's the one God. I beg. I, I say, God Almighty, by default, it should be the others. Why should I say, in Jesus' name, or the Holy Spirit? If I believe, what? But that's another story again. You mentioned here, uh, uh, Revelation of Peter, Jesus Christ being worshipped by heavenly beings. Uh, now, again, you see Revelations and Peter and all that. Again, Peter is questionable, the sources. All these are post-Jesus Christ. When he was what we believe, not, not crucified, what we believe after Jesus Christ left the scene, disappeared, I will say. Then these came, never in his lifetime did he come and say these uh, claims that Jesus Christ, I will be worshipped. I will be worshipped. And uh, he didn't say these are claims attributed to him by persons. We don't know the source of it. And there are so many uh, add-ins and fabrications and uh, erroneous. Er I, I've been reading this this book by uh, some authors, and they they have immense amount of changes, additions to, uh, uh, in the Bible. And then you say he is not all. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Now you mentioned again that uh, uh, not all the prophets have been given the miracle of Jesus, which is to breathe in, in this. You mentioned that, uh, I think there's a third time, which is no problem, I, I love it. But, but regardless, uh, again, uh, breathing into uh, the, you said prophets, give, uh, breathing into the clay was by the permission. And in the, uh, this is my translation, but the translation here is by the leave, by the leave of God Almighty. Now, again, Moses didn't have the capability to split the, 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 the Red Sea. He didn't have the capability to do all the miracles with Pharaoh unless God gave it to him. This is what God does. God is omnipotent. He can give whoever he wants, whatever he wants. So he did that because at Pharaoh time, he had to flee the, the, the Jewish people from there. So he had to part the sea and he left. Now, Jesus didn't part the sea. We heard him. He walked on the sea. We never heard, heard him. He parted the Red Sea. We never saw him uh, turn a, a staff into a snake. So this is things that are attributed to a certain prophet at that time that was necessary to address the, the situation at that time. God Almighty is all-knowing. He knows those people, what they need to convince them. And then you mentioned uh, John 5.16. Now, with regard to John, but before I go there, if time permits, uh, we, we did say here uh, that uh, sons of God, and I do have here, uh, I found it, thank God, but I think I lost it again. But anyway, Allahumma yeah, I think I have it. Yeah, okay, here it is. Yeah, sons of God. Now I'm reading here. Uh, this is, I believe, this is um, uh, Luke 3:38, which was a son of Enos, which was a son of, and it goes on, son of God, and uh, also it has here uh, Genesis that the sons of God saw the daughters, and when the sons of God came into unto the daughters of men. And this is Genesis 6, 2 and 4. And Exodus. Thus saith the Lord, Israel, my son, given my firstborn. Exodus 4, 22. And Ibrahim is my firstborn, my son. Jeremiah 31, 9. And uh, thou, O David, art my son. It says uh, Psalms 4, 3, 7. For as many uh, as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. This is Romans 8, 14. So it, what I interpret this to mean that people who are pious and sincere, and uh, and uh, uh, following the the the, the we call ta'arim, which is the directions your, of God. Your time is up, sir. Okay. Um. Thank you very much for taking that ten minutes. But I want to express actually, I'm hearing echo right now. 
um, I would like to express uh, I'm very much disappointed. Um, even though you had 10 minutes, you did not engage any of the thing I brought it to you. Uh, and that is very disappointing. It is disappointing in a sense, life is short and you are, you are just wasting that intention. That whole 10 minutes can be lots of the other things can be done. If that's okay, I want to ask you a couple of basic questions. Is that okay? Or otherwise we will stop here and then I will take some questions from the chat. No, please ask, sister. No problem. Okay. So. Um, uh, 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 sister Atun, just, just one thing, please. Just one, one, one second, please. Uh, uh, no, no, and this is what I'm saying. No, sincerely, it is not intentional to upset anybody. It's not intentional to demean or belittle anybody. I'm doing my utmost ability with the time given. Now, please ask your question, please. Um, so, it is only Allah who creates. Okay, which you agree with me. It is only God who creates. I can't create bird. I can't create... Uh, human beings it is only god creates it is yes. only god who makes universe okay yes yes so in according to islamic tradition surah 15 okay allah creates adam from the from the mud okay makes it man and then breathes his breath to adam and then adam becomes life okay in somehow surah 3 jesus creates the clay Exactly. Uh, surah 15, which verse? Surah 15, which verse you're, you're referring to? Surah 15. Um, I would go from verse 24 to 29. Okay. 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 I, I can read it to you if you want. No, I have it in okay. front of me. So, he creates, okay? He There is a clay. He breathed into the clay his spirit, okay? And then life happens in human. Okay? When we go okay. through, that's the attributes of Allah. And according to Islam, you cannot share the attributes of Allah with someone else because that's called shirk. Okay? Surah 3, Jesus takes the clay, breathes into clay, okay, after after make the clay shape, shape of the bird. With his breath, he gives life in the permission of Allah. But he has the capacity, his breath is powerful to give life, okay? Jesus creates, Allah creates. Jesus breathes in, Allah breathes in. And in conclusion, both of them result, there is a life. Do you have any other Islamic prophet? I'm not talking about the miracles, okay? I'm talking about attributes of creating. Because create, creation, creating something is not miracle. Uh, do you have any other Islamic prophets that creates with the bread uh, from clay and then gives life to anything beside Allah and Jesus? Yeah, uh, I have one that Who comes is that? to mind. And, and not with breath. It, just by throwing it, the staff, the, the the staff of Moses, peace be upon him, was a wood. It was it was not even anything. It was wood. He didn't have to breathe on it. And he threw it on the ground, and it became a, a, a big uh, serpent. Okay, where it, is it, the it, reference it, for that? Can I, can, I, can, can I just finish, please? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that the, 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 the you want the reference of the Quran? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. That is the story Let's because see. I want to compare them. I'm making different points than yeah, what no you are problem, discussing. No but yeah, if, if uh, you get the reference. Yes. But I have to look for it. I don't have time. You're going to take my time out. But let me respond. Then you can search for it while I'm, while I'm talking. But Moses, peace be upon him, he created by the permission of God Almighty uh, a big serpent that the pharaohs, the, the magicians, they, they did magic. And God Almighty said, do not fear Moses. Uh, you are, uh, you will, you will succeed. And he, he threw a staff, and that staff, it is not a miracle staff; it's a piece of wood. Okay. But God creates what He wants, how He wants, and when He wants. He threw it; it turned into a big serpent, a big snake, and it consumed. Literally, it was alive, consumed everything okay. in front of everybody. Uh, can so, I so can I the, see the reference for that? Because I yeah, strongly yeah. believe the story okay. story no you are putting okay. forward is misrepresenting Islam. 
Can we get the reference? I am a Mr. President, or you represent Mr. I'm sorry, I don't follow you. I'm saying I'm strongly believe I strongly believe that you are misrepresenting. Therefore, no, I want not. to get the reference. Yeah. I can prove it to you, but I have to search in the computer. It'll be faster for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I lo I love to see how Moses creates that. Okay. He goes beyond that. It's not even creation. He just throws it. He doesn't have to blow into it. You see. Again, when uh, uh, you know Prophet Isa he, he had to uh, Musa uh, alqa. Let me see alqa. Alqa asa. This is it. And I'll, uh, this is a good thing about the computer. It's very fast. Okay. This is. Uh, let me see. Where is the verse here? Okay. This is 45. Ayah 45. Verse shara. It's asa fi dha thabban mubin. Uh, okay, there are many, more than one. There is Surah 7, Surah 7, okay. Ayah 107. And there is also uh, Shu'ara, Ayah 45. Okay. If, that's okay. Not only... if that's okay with you, can you, read, can you read the verse for us and unpack? Because what I am reading is very different than the question I am asking you. Ah, what are you reading, sister? Let me read for you. Uh, let me go to the to the verse. One minute. Okay, it is here. Uh, let me go. Shara. One minute. Okay, here is Shara and Ayah forty-five. Okay. Oh, oh, you are not going Surah seven, verse one o seven. There are many in front. I'm looking at the computer. This is the one that it's open. The one other one is down. I can go to that after this. Okay. But I opened this already. I opened this one. Which one is that one? Surah 45? This, this is Surah Al-Shu'ara, which is... One minute. Let me... Just one, one second. This is uh, Surah 26. Surah 26, Ayah 45. Surah 26, Ayah 45. Yeah. One minute, let me make sure because uh, let's make sure again. Surah 26, Ayah 45. Yes. Okay, here, listen what it says. Uh, anyway, the magicians came to Pharaoh and he asked him, Do we have, you know, rewards? Moses, peace be upon him, said, Throw your. Uh, and anyway, it goes on. And then Moses threw his staff on the ground. Let me see if I can translate this because I don't want to read in Arabic and translate it because you're going to hold me accountable. I feel like I'm dealing with a lawyer here. Here's, here's the, I, I read the English translation. You tell me if it is all right or not. Okay. Here then it is. Moses threw then his... Musa, let, let, let me read the translation. Yeah. I have. Then Musa threw his stick and behold, it swallowed up all... That they falsely showed. There's a translation here. Okay, so um, there is nothing implies in here that Mo Moses is creating Moses is creating snack out of wood or out of something. There is nothing indicates in here. So what I am asking is the way Jesus creates in the same order and same structure with Allah. Okay, uh, let, let, let me try to put it this way. You see, the Quran is written in a high level um, uh, Arabic, very classical language. Again, when I read it to me, and, and if I go to the other surah, surah 7, I 107, in the other, it's, he throws, here it doesn't say, it doesn't say snake here. It says, it says that it eats or, or takes up the other snakes. But in the other one, which is uh, uh, Surah 7, I 107, it says that it is a um, massive snake. Okay. That, that, that. But anyway, again, you see, we are literally nitpicking. When no, when we say no, I make say, I think I'm making some important point and it is being missed. Go. So Moses, okay, is not creating the snake. Even in the footnote, okay, footnote of the Quran, which was put together by Muslims, it says this is the miracle of Allah. So I'm not asking that. I all I am focusing, like I'm not discussing who was Moses. 
I am discussing who is Lord Jesus, who is the Son of God, who is Jesus. We, that's the topic of our uh, discussion tonight. So do you have anyone in the Quran creates, okay, from the clay with the power of his breath, okay, and then gives life yeah, beside Allah to. and Jesus? Do yeah. you have anyone? Uh, yeah, you, you see, um, uh, if you allow me now, we we'll see the power of his breath. His breath has no power. Jesus Christ's breath has zero power. It is only something to show the hard-hearted Jews that I am who I claim to be, a mighty messenger of God Almighty. He could have the breath of, of, of a wind tunnel or, or, or a tornado. It doesn't make any difference. The breath he blew on the clay is only by the permission of God Almighty. He made him. Now, uh, in, uh, could you give me the, the, the verse where Jesus blew on? Uh, uh, because it is a miracle. In the Quran, it said a miracle. So you say I, it doesn't I, say a miracle. So I'm, uh, I'm getting more disappointed on the way you are kind of interpreting the I Quran. I disappoint you. Because, up to you. because it says... And then I I breathe into it and it become a bird. Okay, so there is something in the power of breath, breath of Jesus that makes that bird to be alive. So Jesus is walking around with the breath of life, and that's what he's expressing. But I think I think all I'm gonna say is um, I want to move my next question if that's okay. Because I'm yeah, not let getting just, anywhere from this one. Yeah, no, let me just uh, rebut the last thing. Uh, the power, our humble opinion, as Muslims know, he does not have the power. You, you believe he does, that, that's your opinion, but he does not have the power because all of this, and he even says it somewhere here, he says, by the will of God. I'm trying to look for that verse. No, here. it says by the permission of Allah. Yes, you, that ver that no, no, no. word is that. In, in your Bible, I'm trying for your Bible. It says that I created in this and that uh, by by the permission or by the uh, so I, by, I'm by asking, God, through my finger. I'm asking. I, I, I'm asking you the Quranic to, verse, and you are going to the Bible to make the case for that Quranic no, no, verse. Because, because we are asked. No, no. You see, the Quranic verse to us. I am an Arabic speaker. Yeah. It's my mother tongue. I know what it's written. You read the translation, and this is a problem I sincerely believe with, with the Old Testament, New Testament. It is the old translation, the old uh, book is not there. We are lucky enough to have the testament in the original language, not uh, corrupted, not uh, you know fabricated. But anyway, uh, yeah, okay. uh, this is what I was Okay, um, I, I strongly disagree with you in that, in the intention of, because Surah 3 verse 49 disagrees with you. But um, let me ask my second question, um, which um, it didn't come kind of clear answer from. Actually, you didn't answer. Can you tell me, okay, I did already explain it to you that, um, yes, there are lots of sons of God in lots of different ways. And then I already expressed, I am one of them as well. Okay, so. In John chapter 5, the way it has been expressed that Jesus is the Son of God made Jews to think that he's making himself equal with God. Can you please tell me, can you please tell me, um, how do you interpret it, that simple, simple, uh, simple word yeah. which yeah. the people who knew the scripture interpreted? Yeah. Well, this is uh, John 10, 24 through 29. No, no, no. John chapter 5 from verse 16. And my focus verse was verse 18. John chapter 5. That's the that's the verse I am asking you. Yeah, the ones I have in front of me, John 10. You're looking for which one now? John I, what? I'm asking John chapter 5, verse 18. That's the one I asked you. Okay, one second. Well, this I can read it tried all to, more to kill him. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. Okay, now, uh, now I will respond to what you are saying here. Uh, you see, looking through my humble, uh, simple research here, I, I, I am by definition, uh, you know, in research and development. So I research a lot, I look a lot. And I, 
spent these past few weeks looking at it, I found a lot of interesting things. And among them is that uh, the John. John itself... No, uh, uh, so just a moment. Are you able to give me a response to John chapter 5, verse 18, instead of giving me, you cannot trust the John Gospel, you cannot trust the James, you cannot trust the Revelation, you cannot trust the Old Testament. What okay. is, as a Muslim, I think you said you were engineer. As a Muslim engineer, when you read this verse in the eyes of Jewish people with their interpretation, what does it tell you? Yeah, uh, here let me go just a second. It went away, just, just one minute. Uh, it's chapter 5, right? Chapter 5, verse 18. I know. Just one second, please. That's why. Oh, I'm writing Arabic. That's why. Oh God. Okay, just one second. I'm sorry. That's why I disappeared. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Which verse? I'm sorry. Um, my focus verse was end of verse 18. Okay. The Father and the Son. Now, because Jesus was doing these things on the Sabbath, the Jews began to persecute him. But Jesus answered them, To this very day, my Father it is, a, is at his work, and I am too working. Because of this, the Jews tried all the harder to kill him. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own Father, making himself equal with God. So Jesus replied, Truly, truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing by himself unless he sees the Father doing it. For whatever the Father does, the Son also does. The Father loves the Son and shows him all the... And to you amazed, he will show him even greater work than these. So, okay. So, I, I, you know, I can read this in many different ways, but uh, uh, I see you, you're referring to 18, but taking it out of context makes it appear that Jesus is claiming to be God here. He's claiming, peace be upon him. You, you, you can read into that, but I don't see that. I see you're taking okay. it out of context. Okay, okay so... Uh, you can read that from the verse, but um, you are interpreting that it, it is out of the context. That's absolutely fine. No, no, when I read the verses before it and after it, you get the full structure of, of the issue. Okay. You cannot take pluck one verse out and read it by yeah. itself. I think that's very good. That's not... very good because uh, let me give you the full context of the passage. Um, after Jesus, after Jewish people identified Jesus that if... He was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God, okay? Jesus answers them. It goes on, okay? I think I did give you kind of context of this in my, um, in my kind of uh, five minutes, one of the five minutes. Jesus says, okay, uh, let me get the part. Jesus says, actually, it is the son, okay, who gives life. Okay, Jesus says, Jesus is the one who is going to judge. Judgment is trusted to Jesus by the Father. Jesus I, I, is the I'm, one I'm who gives reading. life. For, and then Jesus for... says, he who does not honor the Son, does not honor the Father who sent him. And then he talks about, again, authorities are given to Jesus to judge. And then it's not only that, even though there is a power in the voice of Jesus, it says, who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. So in the context, Jesus is take, Jesus is claiming, yes, I am the son of God. In essence, I have the uh, abilities father has. But that's okay. I think I got the answer to the, my question. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, Sister Atun. When you said the authority, the authority... Uh, and you mentioned something, and I think it's written here, authority was given to Jesus. Yeah. When, when, you, when we say given to, that means an, a, a superior has given to a subordinate, because to give, like you give psalms, you give charity, you give things, you give things you possess to a, another person, because that person did not possess the authority before. It says that he was given. When you say the word given, so, by default, um, by default, remind me. Remind me, how many daughters do you have? I have uh, one. One daughter. One. So, um, if you are giving all your money or all your houses to your daughter, does that make your daughter not human? 
She's still human. She's still human. So that doesn't make Jesus not God. Okay? Jesus is still like, if I give birth, my child is not going to be a dog. Or my child is not going to be birth. My child is going to be human. In essence, Jesus is claiming he's God. That's all the point I am making. And if there is a problem, because Jesus is given to authority, then there will be a problem for Islam. Allah is taking the inheritance. He is the best of the inheritors. Like, there is lots of issue. I'm not going to go through that one. But um, I, I just wanted to give quick correction, if that's okay. Please. Uh, uh, Sister Hatun, before we leave this point, please, you mentioned my daughter, and if I give her something, yeah, it's completely different that from God Almighty giving authority, giving authority. Father is, not like, father is giving the authority to son, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, God Almighty is giving authority. It's completely father. different than me giving my daughter money, whatever, because God Almighty that means Jesus did not have the authority. He was given the authority by God Almighty. So so that tells me immediately there cannot be co-equal when God Almighty has has the authority and he says, son, this is your the authority. That means they are not at the same level. I, so, I, I strongly so, disagree on that. But let me as a Christian, I interpreted my passage. But my argument is you, you, you are a research engineer, okay? When yeah. someone comes and takes over your responsibility, okay, that doesn't make that person not human. When you give your money to your daughter, that doesn't mean your daughter was a bird and then suddenly become human. Your daughter, in essence, is still human. Jesus has that power. Um, let, me, let me actually bring something attention to just for the sake of the audience. Um, in John chapter... John chapter 17, actually, it is talking about, it is one of which the amazing... Verse? I'm sorry, which verse? John chapter 17. No, uh, no a verse, I'm sorry, verse? I'm going to look at from verse 10, but it is not verse for 10. our argument's sake, this is just for the beloved ones who are in chat as we are talking about, like, Jesus... I is hope getting... I'm a beloved one also, I include me, please. As soon, as soon as, if you are rejecting sonship of Jesus, I am afraid I cannot call you beloved ones, but my prayer is that you uh, you become beloved ones by accepting Jesus is Sister the Son Hatton, of God. that is very Christian of you, thank you. That's okay. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. Uh, and then in the beginning it says, hmm... I have revealed you those whom you gave, gave me out of the world. They were yours and you give them to me and they have obeyed your word. It is, as a humans, like people like me, people like Phil in the chat, I think he's still in chat. Uh, the, no, I'm not today's, I, I, today's I'm beloved I'm ones, we I'm have belonged to Father. And Father giving us to Jesus as gift. That is like amazing thing. Just rejoice in that, dear beloved ones. Um, if that's okay, Adil, I just want to make a quick correction just in the intention for the future. If, is that okay? Please go ahead. So you did express... I, chapter. That's fine. You did express that Hadith, Sahih Bukhari, okay, had 300,000 or 400,000. And from that, it is only 3,500 3, 3, is identified as Sahih. I just love to correct you. According to the Islamic tradition, Sahih Bukhari was 600,000, collected by Bukhari, 600,000. And today, it is 7,275 of them make into the Hadith. Okay, just for the future reference. Um, and that's about 1%. That's about 1%. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, statistically speaking, that means that it went through an enormous amount of filtration. Yes, and I, so, they are identified as the Sahih. So Bukhari threw lots of 98% of it. No, no but, but Abu Bakr hadith, I, I need the reference for that, oh, okay. please. You yeah, that, that is where Abu Bakr says, oh, because Allah is deceiver, he cannot put... No, even, later, not, I don't waste I will, our time. I will give you the later, reference for that. Too. That's fine. Later. Let, let me, this is going to be my last question on what all you said. So, 
You try to put your arguments regarding denying some ship of Lord Jesus Christ by giving me the biblical references. Yet you kind of didn't respond any of anything I brought it to you. But as the side points which you made, you identified my scripture as corrupted, changed, not reliable. And no, you, not, I'm, you, I'm referring people. I'm sorry. And and you also kind of said, um, let me see. You said, oh, we don't have. That's after Jesus. Therefore, I cannot trust all those kind of things. Can you please give me the chronic reference that uh, Allah, in His eternal word, discredits Gospel of John? or discredits the book of Revelation, or account of uh, Peter, which you denied? Uh, okay, the question is, uh, those specific books, the, uh, yeah, the so Quran, you, you again. Yeah, so you deny them, again. you deny them. Where is it in the Quran? Allah yeah, okay. denies the John I, Gospel, I, I, I Revelation, and... I understood. Yeah. I understood. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, again, I, I mentioned this before, but, but uh, it's no problem to mention it again. The Quran is... Um, a, a, a revelation from God Almighty. It is in a classical Arabic. It does not go in the details of the Talmud, the Zabur, the Torah, the Anjil, and those books. It does not go. In, it mentions that corruption has entered it. How much? What Why percent? Why does it say that? Uh, it mentions that corruption, and fabrication, and alteration, and addition, and deletion has migrated within the books. Where, where, where does it say in the Quran? Okay, let me say here. Because it's a bit I, funny that we talked about the deity of Jesus, which you try to bring the reference well, from Christian but, 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 scripture, but you are let's just stick, denying that. Let's, let, let's stick with the deity of Jesus. Maybe make this another time because it's okay. going to take time for me. Okay, that's let's, fine. In that yes, case, in that case, I will just anyway. express actually. Quran doesn't talk about John Gospel, or Quran doesn't discredit the John no, Gospel, it, it, or the Revelation, or the account of Peter. Let me, let that me just give me half a minute for no. Let me get half a minute for this. What I'm trying to bring forward is that the Quran, Kareem, will not go in the details that you mentioned. It's spelling out the so-called Gospels and the so-called. It will mention Al Kitab, the people of the book, and it will mention Injil, Torah. But it will not go further. It mentions Zabur and Talmud also, I believe. But it will not go into the, in the uh, uh, chapters or into the Gospels individually. But it does mention that there is alterations, fabrications, additions, deletions, modifications. Right. Has come. To, but, but we will not get into it now. Let's okay. leave it for another in, in that case, Let me, In that case, I'm just going to say what you said is um, wrong. And then we can no. discuss for another time. Okay? I agree. I so agree. That, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is now, uh, let me first say, say thank you very much for being available and taking this time to discuss this issue. So I'm going to turn yeah. to chat, okay? And then I will take some questions from the chat. Um, so I don't know what has been happening in, the, in the comments this, of the live stream. Yeah. Uh, I believe it will be fair that each one of us, because we haven't been able to express what we believe, we be given at least 10 minutes rebuttal before we go to the chats. Because the um, chats... We already had 15, 25 minutes each for this. So I'm. what I want to do is I want to get the people's question to you and to me on the topic of deity of Jesus. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. So, um, okay. Let me... Um, computer is... Your YouTube is on as well. Sir? No, I don't. I don't know how to get to it. I don't know. Oh, okay. In that Where case, do I go? Can you send me a link? I don't know how to do it. Uh, I try. Where is it? I, I'm in this website here, and I see your blue with a cross. Do you see? I'm gonna see. Well, then where do I do? Okay. Um, click that. Okay, I did that. Okay. Uh, did you see? Like, is there anything kind of says? Um, is there anything? Oh, say there, there I am. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. There I is. Okay. So. You can pick up the questions from there you want as well. Qu uh, comments are on the site, okay? What I'm going to do... Do I the picture? It's not working now. Do, do I have to close you? Or close your picture? Open How do I do it? Uh, it's dead. Uh, one minute. It's not, it's not moving. You mean when you say picture is not moving from, you mean from YouTube? Yeah, do I click uh, click live now? Maybe that's what I click. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Click that one on the site. You are gonna see the comments. Okay. 
So feel free to pick up any question are being asked. Okay? Okay. So do, what, do I close the, the Skype or keep it on? No, no, keep on the Skype. Otherwise, you will hang up the phone. Keep the Skype. Why is it not working? Is it working on your side, this, this thing? Uh, I don't have access to YouTube. I'm using different program. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I Got think it? it's opening. Okay, so I'll ask the first question. This is from John. This is your ministries. Just a second. It, it, it's, it's still turning. Just one second. It's taking too long. I don't know why. Oh, oh, oh forget it is. Okay. Do I Got it? Okay. Okay. Do I do I mute this? I mute you, your I... YouTube needs to be muted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, one second. Okay. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's muted. Yes. Please. Okay. So first. Now, question, what is the chat? Um, chat will be on the side, like where you see your picture and my picture, and then on the side you will see chat. Like comments are moving. Okay, I don't see any chat. Okay, that, it, it, that's okay. If you can't see it, I will read it from here as I see, okay? Oh, in the bottom, I see top chat. Is that it? Yes. Okay, okay, I see it. I'm okay, sorry. So okay. Here's the first question. Okay. Surah 9, verse 31. In some, Surah 9, verse 31. Surah 9, verse 31. This is where Jewish says, like, Ezra is the son of God. Christian says, Messiah is the son of God. In some Arabic and English, it states... Jews have taken their rabbis and monks as God instead of Allah and Messiah, making Messiah and Allah equal. So what is the, your interpretation for this? Ah, uh, okay. Now, I do have your English translation here. They, the Jews and Christians, took their rabbis and their monks to be their lords besides Allah by obeying them, by obeying them, in things which they made lawful or unlawful according to their own desires without being ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they also took as their Lord, Messiah, son of Maryam, Mary, peace be upon them, while they, the Jews and Christians, were commanded in the Torah and the Injil, the Gospel, to worship none but one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, none has a right to be worshipped but he. Glorified is he from above, is, is he from having the partners they associate with them. So this is, I got the English translation here. Yes, so, so basically it says that they they, they attributed um, uh, rabbis and attributed uh, monks or gave them attributes that are unique to God. I don't know if it's all the attributes or a part, portion of the attributes, but they have gone to that extent and uh, they, they attributed, and that's why we see uh, you know, the, the situation we are in right now, I believe. So, there, is, there is lots of problem in that verse, but the question is, where it says, okay, they have taken, where it says, they, they have taken their scholars and monks, monks as Lord beside, beside Allah and Messiah. So person is saying Allah and Messiah is used uh, as an equal, so what is your interpretation for that part of the verse? Ah, uh -huh, I see your point. Okay. Yeah. No, it says here, this is a translation again, sister. My English is second language. So okay. I'm what not perfect what is the Arabic it. says? Maybe Arabic might help. Okay, the Arabic, Arabic, اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أرباب من دون الله. إلا اللي يعبدوا إلها واحدا. لا لا. So it means, they took their ahbar, which is uh, the rabbis, are, uh, uh, are rahbanhum, which is the monks, I'm sorry, and arbaban, arbab from rab, which is rabbi, and they took a messiah also to be a god or give him the attributes of God, all or part, I am not sure, but uh, give them attributes of God Almighty. And that's, that's what it says in the translation also. It says here, you see, uh, and... Uh, Messiah, son of Mary. It says, things which they made lawful or according to their own desires without being ordered by Allah. Yeah, so Allah so, and Messiah used next to each other. So question is, how do you interpret it that Allah and Messiah used next to each other versus monks and rabbis? So that for, therefore, um, John is thinking 
Allah and Messiah is made equal in Surah 931? That's the question. Ah, no, no, he's mistaken. I'm sorry, uh, John. I'm sorry, you're, you're totally mistaken. No, that doesn't mean that. It It is... Again, the classical Arabic, Arabic is my mother tongue, the classical Arabic, it has the ability, Arabic has 12,500,000 words in it, and the roots of the words go phenomenal, and we have dialects in it, but anyway, that's another story. But no, here it is portraying that you are taking Ahbar, monks, Arbab, rabbis, Mindunillah, uh, uh, aside from God, or associating with God, and and the Messiah, so they they, they put uh, this um, uh, uh, Jesus Christ peace be upon him was uh, separated because the whole uh, Christianity or Christian or most of the Christian world associate him directly as uh, God, one of the th uh, triune God or one of three persons. So that is why it is broken off separately. Ahbar Rahban, they have not been given attributed a name. The reason is that Messiah, it stands out among all. And it's mentioned throughout the, the Quran, they, they, they say do not worship, do not worship. But anyway, no, no, John, I'm sorry, you're mistaken. Um, I would disagree. Um, I would disagree with that because in here, it doesn't say also the Messiah. It says Allah and Messiah. And when we look at the Arabic in 7th century and 8th century, Yes, uh, there is the implication that Allah and Messiah is equal in the same category. But um, I would, yeah, that's kind of my quick response. Here's the next question. Question uh, for... Sister, I'm sorry, before you proceed, again, give me the benefit of the doubt. Arabic is my mother tongue, and I would not lie. You can look it up. Again, uh, just not to kill this issue to death, but again, uh, you see, when they mention the, the, in Arabic, you have the primary and the secondary. The secondary is the uh, 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 the Rahban, which is the monks and, and, and the rabbis. The primary is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So they mention that separately from Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ has the most association with God Almighty. And that's why it is standing out here. It doesn't mean associating him or equaling him to God because the, the, then it would be a contradiction in the Quran, which is not there. I'm sorry, please. Um, I disagree with on that. But anyway. You have the right, next, and I disagree yeah. with your disagreement. But anyway, next, So next question on. is. Please. Um, can, can you give us exegesis for Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, please? I feel like <laughs> it's one way. I'm not. Why can I ask a question? Who's asking this? This question comes from Bible Outreach. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. So you can what? you can also see the questions on the screen on YouTube as well. They're too fast. They're, they're going up too fast. I'm getting you know. No, no. I cannot... It's on the picture. It's on the picture. Like where your picture and my picture is. It's on the screen. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Just yeah. one minute, one minute. It's on the screen. Let me see. Yeah, because so I can't I... see it. They're moving too fast. Okay, I read the, again the question. Hebrews chapter one verse three. What it means? Okay, so I read the verse for you. The verse sun three. is the radiance of the God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by, by his power of his word. And uh, after he had provided purification for sins, he sat on the right hand of the majesty in heaven. That's the verse. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now again, again, this, you have to make sure of the source where this is coming from. For me, uh, the sun is the radiance of God's glory. Uh, uh, who, who, who said this, John? John. No, this, uh, is, this is not John. This is called Bible outreach. Uh, average. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, average. Uh, let me just, this is my, my two cents worth in, in this, this uh, point here, is that, again, if this is the case, and Jesus being who he is, which is a, a very revered, very pious, uh, mighty prophet of God Almighty, he would have come out and voiced this out himself before he, his, his alleged crucifixion. He did not. So the best person for, for us as engineering, I always go to the source. I don't go through a modem or a transit. I go direct. Because if I go transit, it's like getting a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Here, the Hebrews is not... Uh, this is, I think it's a Paul. I'm not sure, but I'll look it up. But it's not by the, the, the people who... 
who lived with Jesus, who, who the disciples of Jesus, this is, uh, uh, people, you know, expressing, I, I sincerely believe out of the immense love they had for Jesus Christ. But again, you can, you are on a very sharp edge because if you go beyond love, you could, you will fall into idolatry and fall into, into something associated with God Almighty. And that's what I believe this is coming from. That this, for me, it, it, it's not part of the synoptic gospels, gospels I'm sorry. Uh, so if, uh, I question the source. Uh, but again, the sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by the, his powerful word. It is, you know, beautiful words, but to me it doesn't carry much value because okay. I don't believe it came from Jesus. Jesus didn't okay, say thank it. thank you. Thank you. Um, quick, quick thing is... Um, I'm sorry, I, Average, I don't mean to offend you, but I don't believe I, it. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm offended by it, but that's fine. So I, I, I'm I, I, just, I, I, just, I just give you the quick warning with the statement you just did. Uh, um, I think next week is going to be very difficult for you since you are going to go to the sources and you won't be taking the second hand sources. But let me just give a no quick, quick point to um, Bible outreach. Um, Hebrews is identified as the word of God. It is in part of Christian scripture identified as the eternal word, uh, inspired word of God. It says... The sun is the radiance of God's glory and exact represent, uh, re representation of his being. It doesn't stop that. With the power of his word, with the power of his word, he, with his word, like he's able to hold all the universe together. If this verse is not simply screaming out, and screaming God and begging people to identify Jesus as God himself. I don't think anything else can be said in this. Here's the next question. Uh, so, let, let me follow up, Sister Hatun, no, on this. No, no, you, you already made a comment. You already took your time and responded. Okay. So, and so then I responded. And media. Okay. Okay. By please. the way, so as you see the chat on the YouTube. I okay? don't see, I cannot see anything. I'm trying. I could not see it. Where is it? I don't know. Okay, do I need like couple, access to it? No, do I need to couple, do something? A couple of minutes ago, you said you are able to see the comments on the side. On no, on the bottom. On the side, I cannot see anything. Okay, on the bottom, then. That's the place, okay? So if you want to pick up someone said something, just pick up and respond okay. to that. Here's the question okay. comes. What does it mean when Quran says Jesus Christ was the word of God? How do Muslims explain this? Yeah. Can you give me the, the, the chapter in the verse, please? Um, I think um, person means Surah 4, verse 171. Surah, I'm sorry, Surah 4. Verse 171. Of course, just one second. Uh, okay. Because, I'm, uh, again, English is my second language. I'm that, that's absolutely fine. It's my second language as well. 171. Yes, I got it. Okay, let me get the English translation, please. Yeah, I have it here. Uh, okay, Arabic, beautiful, but I read it in English. Okay, it says, O people of the scripture, means between parentheses Christians, do not exceed the limits of your religion, nor say of Allah, aught but the truth. The Messiah, Isa, between parentheses Jesus, son of Maryam, peace be upon them, was no more than a messenger of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And his word, between parentheses, be, and he was, which he bestowed on Maryam, Mary and a spirit, Ruh. We have the same as Hebrew, we say Ruh or Ruh, Al Qudus, which is Ruh, same as the Hebrew, again. Uh, where was I? I'm sorry. Which he bestowed, um, yeah, the word, and his word between parents, B, and he was, which he bestowed on Maryam, Mary, between parents, and a spirit, Ruh, created by him. So believe in Allah and his messenger, say not three, which is Trinity, cease. It is better for you, for Allah is the only one, Ilah, God, glorified is he, far exalted is he, of above having a son. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and that is in the earth, and Allah is all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. Yeah. So the, the question is, where it is identifies Jesus as being the rule of Allah and then the kalam of Allah, word of Allah. Okay, what is that means? The person no, is asking, it's... as the word of Allah, is Jesus separated from Allah? Is Jesus part of Allah? 
because he come f he's destroyed from somewhere he came from above into the tummy of mary as the word of god so person is asking what is that word of allah means no uh, again i'm reading here because i don't speak out here but here it says it very clearly it says that uh, that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he, he he sent the word was no more than a messenger and his word which is be kun he bestowed on Maryam. Jesus was, uh, I don't know if you believe him to be the word, but here it says, no, it says, uh, Jesus was a creation because we believe all creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blows into it from his uh, ruh to give it life, all creations. And he says, uh, uh, and his word, which is be, and he was, which he bestowed on Maryam, alayhi uh, so, so the word, uh, I think uh, uh, John is referring to, is Marina. not uh, uh, is not uh, uh, Jesus Christ. The word is be kun fayakun. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry again, John. This is not what, what it means. Well, this is what I believe. Okay, um, uh, I'll give quick respond. Um, so the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah, and His word, which was cast into Mary and a soul of Allah. Ma Jesus comes from, sorry, Spirit of Allah is part of Allah, comes down as a word of Allah, still part of Allah, and then gets into the tummy of Mary that identifies Jesus is more than a bee it is. But, okay, let me go to the um, question from David. Uh, Sister Hatun, which, which uh, tafsir is this? Oh, Which it wasn't is tafsir. This is Sahih International, and you can. All, it's the same from uh, Yusuf Ali as well. Because I, I have tafsir bin Kathir here. It doesn't say what, but anyway, okay, no problem. Okay. Um, so the question is from David. Okay. Okay. Hi, uh, David. Question is, who is Allah praying to? Who is Allah again? I'm who sorry. Who is Allah praying to? Who is Allah praying to? Yeah. Well, well I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, David. Uh, can you elaborate, please? Um, I, I, he can't. Um, so I, uh, I think he's talking about in Surah 33, verse 56. Allah. Yes, 33. Verse 56. Allah and angels are praying for Muhammad. Oh, you believe you pray for Muhammad as well. Okay. Yes, Aluna. So the, a person is asking, David is asking, as Allah and angels prays for Muhammad, who is the hearer of the prayer of Allah? I'm sorry, uh, verse 33, uh, I'm sorry, chapter 33? Verse 56. 56. 56. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, if 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 um, if misinterpreting was a, a sin, this would be a. a but anyway, uh, no, the, even out of context. Let me read in Arabic first. Hold the Arabic language. Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusallun ala nabi. Ya ayuh aladina amnu sallu alayhi wasallam taslim. Okay. I will not go translate. I'll translate it myself. Then I go translation. What it is, says, yes, I think the question is, what is that word Yasaluna means, and who is the oh, here? Salun? Yeah, Yasalun. It will be answered in my interpretation. You'll get to it. Just give me a second, please. Uh, it, it says that God Almighty and His angels are bestowing the blessings uh, to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and then it continues, Ya amru, although believers, which is us, inshallah, and hopefully you, I don't know, uh, Sallu alayhi, Sallu alayhi, wa Give blessings unto, unto him and salam. You see, if uh, John thought that this was uh, reference to prayer, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directs us to give. Sallu uh, alayhi directs us believers, none of us pray to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, none of us. Out of the 1.7 billion on the face of the earth, none of us pray to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We, we give blessings and good tidings to him because uh, he is our beloved Prophet. 
he brought to us this uh, miraculous gift of Quran. Uh, I'm sorry to, to, to belittle David, but uh, it's not, I don't intend this, but what I'm trying to come to is that in the whole context, it says God and uh, his angels are giving good tithes and blessings to the prophet. For that, O oh believers, you also give good tidings because we only pray to God Almighty. We pray no, to no other creation. Nothing. Only to God Almighty. If, so if it is, so Am I wrong? You say you are Arabic speaker and it is your mother tongue. Mother tongue. Correct. What is Baraka? Mother and father, what, is, what is Baraka? Uh, baraka, it depends. It is coming from the root word Barak. Barak. And uh, Barak means to have something, um, it could be something that is... Um, uh, it could be, Baraka means blessing. Baraka means blessing. No, 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 no. It could mean that, but no, it depends how you put it in, in, the, in the term. Again, every Arabic word goes to the root three letters. Baraka. It could... It, it, let me give you this Barak. You brought up a good word. It could mean all the way from a camel. Uh, uh, when we say Barak al-Jamal, it could mean that the camel has sat on its four four legs on the on the sand. That's what barak means. And go all the way to extreme to being holy, mubarak. It could be all the way. Extreme. It that depends is, that, that how you use it. There is a problem. There is a problem. I don't um, I don't know who David Jacob Medina is, but I am assuming the person is asking this question is concerned because when you look at the translations of the surah 33 verse 56 the word yasaluna is being translated as the salat um, let me let me let, let me just get there just, please uh, let me just finish my sentence so please and, i'm sorry please so it it i think it is basic kind of basic arabic knowledge now baraka means blessings and that's the way it also it has been used in some parts of the quran so in here Surah 33, verse 56, it is angels are praying for Muhammad. Muhammad. Allah is praying for Muhammad. Believers pray for Muhammad. It's not pray to Muhammad. It is not saying pray to Muhammad. It is saying pray for Muhammad. So the question is, when you pray for Muhammad, when you pray for your daughter, you pray to Allah. When I pray for the salvation of Muslims, I pray to Yahweh, okay? So I pray to someone, In pray for you to someone. The question is, angels are praying for Muhammad. Are they praying to Allah for Muhammad? No, uh, let, let me, so I get it right here. It says, uh, you see, Salat, again, comes from the root word Salah. Sa, Lam, Alif, Maqsura. Now, Salah, again, it's, 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 it depends how you use it in which context. Here, Allah sends his salat, which between uh, parentheses, it says it, graces, honors, blessings, and mercy, four things, and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and also his angels, ask Allah to bless and forgive him. O oh, you, which is us, who believe, send your salat. Again, salat is in Arabic. Uh, ask Allah to bless him. You see, again, if we if if we were even to contemplate this verse to be even remotely close to what David is thinking, that means we will be not monotheist, we'll be polytheist because we, we worship Muhammad, and that's not the case. In no mosque you go on the face of the planet, you will find anybody worshiping except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I, 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 I will discredit you next week on this topic, but... Um... You, you can discredit me, but for me... Uh, uh, the, the basis of Islam, the base of Islam, is believing in La ilaha illallah Muhammad. This is our our core belief. Okay. Now, the, the the David poor guy, I think he took it literally. The word salat, he took it literally. And uh, again, if if you don't know the language itself, you can go off a tangent and go way off of the meaning. So I'm sorry, David. No, it's, it doesn't mean that. Um. Yeah, I, I think we can open this topic up next week, but I'm sure um, uh, you are wrong on this. <laughs> okay, so... No, uh, no, you, you think you're sure, but you can't I, be... I, so I, think. I, I'm I pretty think much I, I confident, sure. actually. I'm pretty much confident. Um, I'm confident also, so we're all confident, alhamdulillah. 
Okay. But regardless, sister, it's it's uh, you know th this topic again is is near and dear to me because again when when somebody attributes salat, it is nothing. I don't pray to anybody except God Almighty, not the angels, not to anybody. I'm not going to go through that, but in Tashahud you do speak to Muhammad. That's different topic, so that's not linked with the deity of Jesus. Mm -hmm. No, um, no, no, we don't talk to Muhammad. I'm sorry. Okay, we, we can That's discuss. That's your opinion. With we can, all your respect, we can, your opinion, we can discuss that next week. So, um, I'm just going through the questions. Um, so, I was too How much do you up go on through the, the questions. I'm, I'm driving me crazy. I cannot see the question. What are the questions you're talking about? Like on the chat on YouTube. I'll show you do once. Do I need access or do I need some uh, password or no, something? It is, to it? it is on the YouTube. Like the, the where you are watching, you know, when you press the live. On the video, I, I, I have to close your screen, right? I have to take your screen out, right? Uh, probably you need to put that down. I don't know. Because I can, it's blocking this. I can see it's running, but I, okay, okay, take it down then. Okay, let me see. Yeah, it's going there. Okay, yeah, please. Okay. Oh, it's going. Wow, it's going. So, can I slow it down it's too fast? It's you running, can't. You running. can't. You can't slow it down. It's how it is. There are. I don't know how many people are watching, but when people are watching, like people leave comments. Okay. Please. Okay. Um, someone was not happy with the response you giving to regarding the Jesus to be the Word of God, but I just moved on so fast and. Uh, you you cannot stop it. You cannot hold it. It it runs right. It runs. Yeah, you can't stop it. Okay. Please, I'm sorry. Yeah, re read, read. Go ahead. That's fine. Um, I think we will fin. Um. Yeah, I can't, like I am in the at the end of the comments right now. So I just saw um, Nasi saying like big liar to someone. I hope that's not me. But anyway, um, so if you have any question, I can take the last minute question from you. Here's the question. Yeah. yeah okay. Here's yeah, the no, question. No, just, just, yeah, no, not a question. Just a, a summary, please. Just one minute summary. Uh, you said somebody said liar or something. For, for me, I'm I, only here. No, I'm only I, I think that was to me, so I don't think it was to no, me. No, regardless, e even to you, I, I would not be happy to somebody to call you a liar it's either. Not, I sister. don't but care, anyway, it's not that big deal. No, no, just give, me, just give me half a minute. I just need half a minute to be somebody. Bottom line, again, for me, being here is, show, is trying to share, share with me, with, with you what I believe. I don't have to force you. There's no compulsion in religion. I don't have to force you. You don't have to force me. Hopefully, we will come out of it knowing something more. And that's the bottom line, be it right, be it wrong. At the end of the day, only God will know what's best. That's that's the bottom line. Okay, Um. so the question is, so the, I'm going to take this How question. And this? Then... I cannot read anything. I'm trying to read and just jump, jump, jump. Okay, I'll read it to you. How did Allah's attributes, Quran, enter the creation if Allah doesn't enter into the creation? Can the attributes of Allah be separated from? Allah. I, let me rephrase this in a way linked with the R topic. So, the word of Allah is word of Allah part of Allah or separated from Allah? Uh, when you say word of Allah, kalimat Allah, it, it, is, it is a word emanating. Okay, let me give you a simple example. It's like, for example, saying, I, I am speaking now. I have a, a presentation. I'm, I'm speaking and I'm saying something. Now, Kalamat Allah is... How is it... My humble belief, Sister Hatoum, my humble belief, uh, this is my personal uh, own interpretation, is that we are not capable, competent enough to comprehend the even very simple basics of what, how goes on with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But regardless... The details does not concern me as much as the content. The content is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did something, call it a word, call it whatever, and he bestowed that on some uh, pious people for his own, uh, you know, uh, plan. But but what is it? Is it part of him? Is it, I think, you, you know, when they say, you know, losing the forest for the trees, it looks like they are losing focus on what is important, which is, God Almighty, and looking into nitpicking words here and words there. I'm not trying to prove anybody wrong or right. I'm just here trying to, you know, share what I know. Um, um, I think um, we will discuss this uh, topic next uh, in our next discussion because it goes under the issue of Tawhid. But the word of Allah is part of Allah and then enters into the creation. Here's the last question. 
I am apologizing. I know pr probably questions are coming, but this is going to be the last question. Okay. So, why did Allah deceive Jesus? I think this comes because you said it was the slip of the tongue that actually you believe Jesus didn't die. So the question is, why did Allah deceive Jesus' disciples and even his mother regarding the Jesus' death on the cross? So Mary, mother of Jesus, had to go through grief and grief and grief by thinking her son died. And I'm sure none of the mom wants to think their son is dead while child is not dead. And this created... Uh, so Allah deceived Jesus' disciples and even his mother regarding the Jesus' death on the cross. And those created Christianity. Then Allah completely changed the story with Muhammad. Why did Allah do that? Okay, first of all, uh, with, with all due respect to David, uh, we don't believe God deceives. Okay, this, okay, this is I'm, not David. Uh, this is a different John, question. John, I'm sorry. No, not huh? John. I'm, this question comes from our church. Uh, our church, I'm sorry. Uh, with all due respect to our church, uh, we don't believe uh, God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, deceive it's not part of his attributes we don't believe that but regardless uh, back to your question uh, we believe when jesus christ was in the garden he prostrated and he begged and he pleaded with god almighty that uh, he, he saves him from this and we believe god out of mercy he he, he did uh, respond to jesus and he did save him. Now, the details of that is not important to me as much as uh, it's an indication of the mercy of God Almighty. Instead of having his beloved and pious, um, uh, you know, mighty prophet being uh, humiliated, uh, half naked uh, on a cross, uh, you know, being tormented. Uh, uh, this, this to us, and, and crucifixion in our region, is is the most humiliating, and it it is considered to be, you know, done to, in in the olden times, you know, it's almost like a, I don't know how you call it, la'na, it's a la'na, it's a curse, to be crucified. In our understanding, in the Middle East, it is it is if I want to say it right, it's almost like a curse. And uh, one of the mighty prophets we consider Jesus Christ. This is not. Um, uh, a befitting ending for for his torment and torture. So no, uh, it's not that uh, we believe that Jesus deceived anybody. No, it, it, Jesus kept it to himself. We believe so that you know once uh, and an, uh, uh, something comes out, it's not a secret anymore. People will know of it. And uh, the Jews, being Jews, uh, they they are they had it out for Jesus from day one, and, and they wanted him. Uh, you know, as a, you know, a false Christ and uh, torment. God Almighty had other plans. That's what we believe as Islam. And God Almighty, out of His His uh, glory and uh, uh, magnificent mercy, uh, He saved His His uh, His prophet in a way that the details does not concern me. As long as He didn't have His uh, beloved prophet tormented, tortured, and humiliated and cursed. Okay. So it's not deceiving. I'm sorry. Um. But thank you, David, for the question. Thank you. So that was the um, end of the questions to um, session. But let me just pick up something where it's been left. Um, yes. According to Surah 3, verse 54, it's not Allah is only deceiver. Allah is identified as the best of the deceivers. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, are, Surah are, what? Sorry, sister. Surah, Surah 3, what? verse 54. I think... Uh, um, Sir, you don't need to respond at this stage. I'm just like going to respond what you said and then it will be the end of the evening. So surah, let's leave it for later so I can... Uh, surah, 3, surah 3 verse 54, Allah is not only a deceiver, but he is the best of the deceivers. He deceived, as our church says, disciples of Lord Jesus Christ and his mother and then give birth to Christianity and turned up in 600 years after that remembering oh actually that never happened that never happened it is not acceptable at all but here's the problem I hear I hear Muslim is uh, simply stating that death of Jesus is a humiliation uh, the way he was crucified therefore it would never it, Allah will never allow that to happen 
if the pain and humiliation is such a thing, Allah disagrees when it comes to his prophets. Muhammad was humiliated and went through the pain before his death. Aisha says, I never seen anyone suffered as much as Muhammad. Allah was quite okay for Muhammad to suffer, but according to the Muslims, Allah didn't want Lord Jesus to suffer. That's different, that, sister. That's different. That, that's he's, different. he's the bottom line for the Christian Christians. Yes, Muslims might simply say, oh, those details are not important to me. But no, according, no, no, no. according to Christian scripture, death and resurrection of Lord Jesus is the reason Christian faith is born. Death and resurrection of Lord Jesus c c Jesus is because of that today I am declared righteous. Because of that today I am declared son of God. D because of that today I can call God my father. Because of that I am given eternal life. Why? Because God the son looked down and did something for me. God the Son was under the zero obligation. God the Son didn't have a gun on his head to step into the world. But God the Son chose to give his life for me. People like me and those beloved ones in the chat. Which we don't deserve. He is under the zero obligation. He comes into this broken world. And goes through that humiliation. Goes through that life. And on the cross, he asks God if there is any other way because he sees the separation and he sees how ugly that separation is. That's not enough. He runs, he meets with us where we are. And that has been done by the Son of God. Gives his life uh on the cross for us. On the third day, he resurrects. Yes, Muslim thinks those are just the details. But those small details are the core doctrine of my Christian faith. Resurrects on the third day. That's not enough. On that cross, he asked me to be his. On that cross, he asked me to be his son. On that cross, he asked me to be his bride. That's not enough. He offers me place in the bosom of the father where he comes from. And that is the one. Yes, he is humiliated. Yes, he was put on the cross. Yes, he bleed it. Why? Because it was my sin who put him on there. He was under this, zero this obligation, is, but he loved me system. enough to do so. And this all I system. can say is, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you very much for doing that. I stand under your grace. There is no any other way for me to come to your presence. That's all it is. And today, Sister. those of you who are watching us, if you are identified as not part of the beloved ones, all my prayer is that Lord Jesus Christ will bring you on your knees, that you confess he is Messiah, he is the Son of God. And uh, in, in that, you will have life in his name. If you are the beloved ones today, if you acknowledge that the Son of God gave yes. himself for you, he donated his heart for you, my prayer is that with his love, day after day, you will be silent. In that note, um, Adil, I'll just say thank you very much for joining us uh, for tonight. Mr. Hatun, can you give me two minutes just to follow up on that? Not, I because... can't give you two minutes, but I can give you 30 seconds to make your conclusion. Yeah, well, I don't seconds. know, because you started, I want to finish. No, but I, I didn't start anything. Start, I already start. commented what you said. I'll give you 30 seconds, and then we will finish the live stream. Okay, at least one minute, please. But Thir anyway. 30 uh, seconds what, is more than enough. Okay. When you said that Jesus, he uh, selected to be uh, crucified, he did not. Uh, he he uh, begged in the garden, he pleaded, he wept uh, over there. Again, uh, it was not by, by because the the army had to come and drag him there and put him there. But again, sir, I, I I gave you thirty seconds to make your conclusion, not just rebut what I just said. 
But that, that's my conclusion on that, what you said there. But we need this on a separate issue. We cannot okay. just interject in that case, at the end. Okay, we can discuss that in separate issue. Let me just I agree. Finish, I agree. finish with the good news of Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Beloved ones, while Islam screams out that Allah deceived Christians, not only Christians, who cares about me? Allah deceived the mother of Lord Jesus Christ, Mary. A mother grieved for his son while her son didn't even die, according to Allah. That's on a side note. According to Christian scripture, yes, he was humiliated. Yes, he bleed it. And you know what is one of the sad thing is? It's not only he's humiliated, he bleed it. He has holes in his hand forever. God man, son of God loved me enough to have holes in his hand from the cross forever those are the signs of my sin he was willing to take upon himself he was willing to donate his heart to me he was willing to declare me righteous out of no obligation that is called grace his kindness that he screamed out Open your hands, people, and say thank you to Lord Jesus Christ, eternal Son of God, and receive His love and His grace. Beloved, be silent with the love of Lord Jesus Christ until we see you tomorrow for another live stream. And we will have Adil again to um, continue our discussion. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.